Good morning, Mass Bomb staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Thursday D-Day morning announcements. Students, reminder that prayer for Ramadan is available daily at 1.07 p.m. in room 226 from Ms. Dignetti. All right, the quarter three honor roll lunch will be held today at 11.45 in the student cafeteria. Please bring your invitation with you as you as your pass to enter the cafeteria. Also from Ms. Dignetti, we have a lot going on today. March Madness Games Day attendance party will be held on Thursday the 13th in the 122 gym. Today, from 1.30 to 2.30, all students that are invited will receive an invitation in their advisory. You must bring the invitation with you to enter the gym. A master list will also be emailed to all staff. Upcoming events, you already know about the March Madness today. Uh, this Friday, students, is a student half day. Next week, Monday through Wednesday, is the Nocti. More about that shortly. Thursday, the 20th, is the Nocti block party. You have to earn your way in to the block party. Friday, the 5th, is Mass Bomb Culture Fest, our second annual Culture Fest. And students, as you know, our number one priority as educators at Mass Bomb always to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust. If you have concerns or problems, we are here to support you. All right, knock the test logistics. Okay. Here's the deal the knock the test is happening over three days. Monday the 17th is the written part one. Actually, report time is going to be 7.30. All right, I'll make that edit right there. It will be 7.30. Knock the written part two will be 7.30 as well. And then the performance exam time will be determined by your respective teachers. If you have perfect attendance and excellent effort, as is noted by your proctors, you will earn your way into the Nocti block party on Thursday for music, games, dance, and the opportunity to earn, to win $100 gift cards. There's a number of them we're going to be handing out. They're like, there's going to be a lot of people earn some $100 gift cards. It's going to be nice. And students, I said it before, and I will say it again. Yes, that taking the Nocti and producing maximum effort on it is a requirement in the state of Pennsylvania, not just a mass bomb, in the state of Pennsylvania for graduation. So we're looking for 100%. 100% Nocti written, 100% Nocti hands-on, 100% attendance, 100% certifications, 100% we build the future. Yes, we do. All right, senior and junior events upcoming. Uh, reminder from Nurse Chris and the class sponsors, the senior junior class trip will take place on Friday, April the 28th. The cost of the trip is $25. Payments are due by April 20th. If you're interested in attending this day trip, please see Miss Chris, Miss Bacon, and or Mr. Trainer. The 90% attendance initiative for April, because April showers bring... May flowers. All right. Rain or shine. Students should be in school every day. We will be having a popsicle party on May 2nd for students who come to school 90% of the time for April. This means coming to school each and every day. April's theme is rain or shine. Be in school on time. Yes. All right. Mass Bomb's April attendance challenge. April is 14 school days. Uh, because we had spring break, we have a, another day off in April uh, with Eid upcoming. 90% means you can only miss one day. Students that meet the attendance challenge will participate in a Popsicle party on May the 2nd. You will receive a ticket on May 1st, which you will be able to redeem during your lunch on May the 2nd. Culture Fest, already told everybody that it's coming May the 5th, all right? Sign up, staff and students, for the Culture Fest door decorating contest, okay? Remember what the bar is for winners. In said contest last year, Miss Jenkins in room 406, her class won for Uganda, and 202, the counselor suite. Counselor suite are like the New England Patriots. 
of winning door decoration championships, as it turns out. They won for Costa Rica, uh, them and their student support team. Fashion show signups for the Culture Fest. Listen, we're going to have a fashion show. We're going to have live music. We're going to have cuisine from all around the world, but made as an educational undertaking and enterprise with our culinary programs. We're going to have a culture fair where we're going to learn about many different cultures in this world, our history, uh, social studies classes, and teachers and students are driving this. The fashion show sign up ends today. Sign up in room 202. In the way of clubs meeting today, we have the Ecology Club with Mr. King in room 605, Sustainability Club with Ms. McLaughlin, room 306. We have the Gamers Club with Mr. LaMumba, room 323. Reminder about Kuth, Rubik's Cube Club. All right, bracelet sales. Sadiq Smith asked me if I wanted to purchase a bracelet. I said yes, and I said you can get me Mass Bomb Colors bracelet, and I will gladly purchase it. So, Sadiq, blue and red. A little bit of white mixed in, but primarily blue and red. Chromebook repairs, social media, the staff and students' shout-outs. I want to shout out the staff and classes that signed up for the Culture Fest door decoration. So far, we had a good initial turnout after the first couple of days of eligibility for signups. And I want to shout out these teachers for the signups for representing uh, different cultures. We have Cuba with Chef Tim and Chef Allen. We have Mexico with Miss Worthman. We have Greece with Miss Choella. We have LGBTQ culture with Miss Walker. We have Italy with Miss Foster. And we have soccer culture across the world with Miss Barlow. All right. Let's get a lot, lot more. I know the main office. Listen, we saw, main office did the Black History Month competition, and I think we put forth a good effort, but it wasn't a winning effort, and that's okay. Maybe this time I have to talk to Ms. Zyde and Ms. Berge, Dr. Riley, our office interns, Bianca Rosario, Kevin Reiner, Sam, okay? We have to come up with a theme. We have to come up with a culture that we are representing and celebrating and decorating for. National Days Day is National Scrabble Day. And today is National Make Lunch Count Day. And I like this National Day because you know what it's about? You know, we all have such busy lives, right? Make Lunch Count Day is about actually sitting down for 20 minutes and making lunch count. Uh, being mindful of yourself and your needs and your uh, maybe your need for peace and quiet. Maybe this would be uh, having lunch with a dear friend or group of friends, having lunch with a loved one. Happy National Make Lunch Count Day. I like that national day. Hey, we're Mass Bomb. We build the future. Have a great Thursday.